Good morning, everybody. We have the car today. We have a family reunion this weekend. So there are a few things that, a few errands that I need to take care of before we leave. So I took Sarah to work this morning. Gabriel and I took Sarah to work this morning so that I would have the car to run the errand to get the things done. But the truth is, I'm gonna get my errands done as quickly as possible so I can enjoy every second of having a vehicle. Okay, everybody, we're back home. I've got a few uh, chores that need to get knocked out and I didn't wanna film anything else in the car because I feel like this video has the potential to uh, be car footage heavy and I wanna to try to keep that to a minimum. So. I got a few chores I need to get done. Gabriel's back in the nursery doing his uh, latest favorite uh, hobby, which is fighting his naps. Uh, so he's gonna, if I can get him to go down, I can get have myself cleaned up and ready for the day and get a, a good chunk of these chores knocked out because I won't have to just kind of have to follow after him the entire time. So it's surprising what you can get done in an hour when you know you've only got an hour <laughs> before things get busy again. So. If he goes down, I can get some laundry knocked out, get myself cleaned up, get ready for the day, so that when by the time lunchtime comes around, we can uh, go get mommy, because we're gonna have lunch with mommy today. This feels like one of those cliche parent things to say, but it feels like I'm always doing laundry. And now, my bags are packed, it's time to clean up myself and get ready for the day. Look who got up while I was getting ready. <laughs> Sweet boy. We gotta get you dressed to go see mommy. You wanna watch Thomas? Those crazy trains. <laughs> I think you'll climb out of that thing to get this camera. The last load of laundry is in the dryer. I'm dressed. He's dressed. Even fixed his hair for our special lunch with mommy. So we're headed out into the world. I'm so excited. So we're headed to lunch, and Sarah knows that I miss adult interaction, so she arranged for some of her co-workers to come with us. It was very nice. She's always looking out for me. <laughs> so we're going to Chick-fil-A. Because that's what us fancy business that's what people do. Fancy adult business people do for lunch. We just dropped Sarah back off at work. Lunch was really fun. It was a good, uh, good adult adult time for Daddy, which sounds kind of dirty now that I said it. It was good adult interaction for the stay-at-home father of the house, who needs that every now and then. So that was good. I really enjoyed that. Um, I like those people. I'm glad Sarah gets to work with them. They're good people. Now. It's time for Gabriel to eat and take a nap. So we're headed home. As much as I said I didn't want to go home, we're gonna go back to the house. I'm gonna feed him, put him down for a nap. And when he gets up, we'll go back out because we need to get a few things for this weekend and uh, pick Sarah up from work. So we're gonna go out, run our errands, and then hopefully time that so that we're done when. Uh, it's time to pick her up from work. So we'll see how that goes. Well, we're back home. Uh, Gabriel 
fell asleep on the way home and he's been down ever since. It's been, I guess about 45 minutes in his crib and then 25 minutes in the car. So he's looking at over an hour long nap so far. So he's, if I had to guess, he's probably gonna get up in the next 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna give him some milk and um, some pureed apple. And then we're gonna load back up in the car and get back out there because we actually do. It's um, almost three o'clock. So if he wakes up in 10, 15 minutes, it'll be after three. The time he eats at maybe 3.30 before we get on the road. And Sarah usually leaves work um, about 4.15, 4.30ish. Uh, but she did, he kept us up late last night. We had kind of a rough night last night with him. So she may be working a little late, but either way, we're kind of running out of time to do some of our errands around town or running around that we need to do. So we may bring Sarah along if we don't get them all done before she gets off work. We may just hold her, keep her captive and drive her around town with us. I've been really striking out with my nap estimates lately. He's been asleep for two hours now. So if you count the 25 minute drive from Sarah's work back to our house where he slept the whole way and then I put him in there and started the sleep timer again. He's been asleep for almost two and a half hours now. It's four o'clock and my day with the car, I spent most of it at home. <laughs> I love that kid. He sure has a way of throwing a wrench into my plans. Well, a two and a half hour nap, huh? What do you have to say for yourself? Sleepy boy. You ready to go get mommy? You know we didn't get any na any any of our errands run this afternoon. Yeah, it's your fault. You don't care. Uh, yep. <laughs> All right, kid. Let's go get mama, and then let's go run our errands with mama. How's that sound? Okay. Okay. Where'd your pants go? <laughs> we took them off. <laughs> Is it the no pants dance? Hi. Here, could you help me? <laughs> but I'm filming for our vlog. Oh, that's nice. So guess what? I have good news. What? We, you get to come with us to run errands. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say. We can go do that since you didn't get to. That's what I figured. Yeah, so, because he slept for two and a half hours altogether, I had to wake him up. He didn't even wake up on his own. So, okay. my day with the car was spent at the house. <laughs> Sorry. Their son, who always seems to find a way. He won't sleep at night, but he'll sleep <sighs> during the day. Excuse All me. All right, we're going to run errands. <laughs> Let's not wear socks go, baby. That's not where socks go. <laughs> you are so silly. <laughs> Crazy boy, you're just gonna leave it there. Now it's on to errand number two. Where's the sleep training section? coming for you, Paco. You're the reason we're here. <laughs> Infant and toddler care. We're trying to get some resources on Gabriel's sleep issues. See if maybe we can figure something out from a reputable source yeah, instead of like, that sounds good. Yeah, instead of Googling it and then reading what some other mom did in a forum somewhere, we're gonna try like a reputable source, maybe a doctor or somebody. I like this one. Bedtime sucks. <laughs> There's no such thing. I went for things that had gentle in the description and or title. Cause I don't want to torture my baby. I just want him to sleep better. How fast can you read those books? Are we real fast? All right, well, his bedtime's in an hour and a half. <laughs> so I'm ready to try method number one whenever you are. I told Jacob, 
I didn't want to get just one book because one seemed like I just wanted to solve a problem. Two means I'm doing my research. I told her to tell me how they end. Hopefully the main characters don't die. <laughs> so I just gotta take it to this weird boarded place. So we got dog food from the grocery <laughs> store. We got books from research books from the uh, used bookstore. Now we're gonna go have this some. This lady was on Good Morning America. And then she's a legitimate author, man. She knows what she's doing. We're going to eat dinner. Then we're gonna get some gas. We're gonna go home and feed the baby. You gotta read more in the back. Sarah's making Gabriel's dinner. Gabriel's playing in the clean laundry that I left for mommy to fold because she loves to fold clothes. I want to do laundry. Are you ready for your dinner? Sweet man. <laughs> no! <laughs> you startled me. You startled me. Poor dogs. Gabriel, leave the puppies alone. <laughs> 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 okay. This is Sarah's first time feeding the baby chicken. Sweet potato and chicken dinner. Chicken mud. I'm going to have some apple and rice cereal for dessert. Pretty underwhelming, huh? Yep. <laughs> He's like, nah, you I'll indifferent eat. towards chicken? I'll eat it. You going to try it? No. You tried all the other stuff. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> that doesn't look appetizing to you? Well, it's also sweet potato, and I don't like sweet potato. Mm. I did enjoy um, your footage from the other day when you fed him. You sped it up. Anytime, like, there'd be one spot, you'd see the spot drop, and then you'd see you wipe it. Or you'd get a spot on his face, and you'd see you wipe it. It's funny. Try to be clean. All right, we're gonna close it out here. <laughs> Cause this kid smells like poop. It's about his bedtime, so mom's gonna do her bedtime thing. I'm gonna go exercise in the garage for a few minutes, and then throw this video together. And then tomorrow we're going to head out to a reunion. That video is coming Monday. So you're going to make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you see it. Click the bell so you get the notifications when they uh, when we post it new videos. Like poop. <laughs> Poopy pants. If you think this poop pants is adorable, click the thumbs up. Give this video a like. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. He's off. He's after my shoelaces. <laughs> Alright, so leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Tell us you liked the video or not. Or just tell us you liked it. You know how to tell us or not. <laughs> Get off my shoes. We will see you guys next time.